my name is Tiffany Scott. Welcome to the General Store at Creek Crossing. So we're standing in Partridge, Kentucky. Uh, we are in Letcher County. We are just a spitting distance from Harlan County, so we're kind of right in the middle. Um, but we are, we've been here since January of 2021. So we're very excited to have this newly launched business here in our community. Uh, my husband and I both work for the University of Kentucky. And uh, this little store had been open since the 70s. And uh, the gentleman who ran that, unfortunately, he got cancer and he had to close uh, last October, in October 2020, and he moved uh, to Louisville. And so we didn't want to see this little grocery store close uh, down here in our community. It's actually the only business on this side of Pine Mountain in Letcher County. So, uh, you know, he operated it as, it was a little grocery store. It was called Bob and Betty's Grocery. Again, his wife had that for years. It was just kind of a staple in our community. It was a little small grocery. He uh, sliced deli meats, made sandwiches. Uh, but when it closed, you know, it was kind of heartbreaking to us. It was the last little thing we had left. As kids, we rode bikes over here. We would ride our dirt bikes and four-wheelers over to get get something cold to drink, get, get gas or, or what have you. So, uh, But we also knew that there were people in our community who actually walked here to get groceries because they didn't have automobiles. Uh, and that is still true today. So when he closed, uh, it was very sad for our community because it was a little spot we could go grab a gallon of milk, a loaf of bread, and kept us from running all the way to town. So. Uh, we made the decision to give it a chance. So uh, when we made the decision to try to open the store back up, we knew we couldn't just run it um, as the former owner did. We knew we wanted to take a whole new spin on things and we wanted to go a different route. So we wanted to keep the little grocery store, uh, but we also wanted to take it to a new level. You know, we have a strong love for this community. We've been, you know, lived here our entire life. And, you know, being located right here in the heart of Appalachia, we knew what this community had to offer. We knew what, um, you know, outside folks could see and experience when they came here. And so we wanted to capture that. We wanted to take the little store that has been here for years and take it up a notch and really bring it to a place that it can not only be useful for uh, locals, but also a destination location for tourists and, you know, tourism. And when we began this journey, we worked very closely um, with Backroads of Appalachia. We worked very closely with Letcher County Tourism and also our friends in Atrocity Tourism. And, you know, when we, we created this concept of being a destination, I wanted to be a, a bridge between Letcher and Harlan County. I wanted to be a spot that could join the two. Uh, being the only business located on this side of Pine Mountain, that was pretty easy for us to do. Um, so when we opened our doors in January, I mean, who was crazy enough to, to open a business in the dead of winter, in the middle of a global health pandemic, and in one of the, you know, a, a poor community, a, a community that has been stricken with loss of jobs, uh, you know, just a, a poor economy. Um, but we gave it a chance, and our minds have been blown. And honestly, I think if COVID-19 taught us anything, it taught us or made us long for a simpler time. Wanted to go back to a time when things were not as complicated. I think folks are looking for something other than big box stores to shop at. And that's what we wanted to create. You know, people, people will forget certain things. They'll forget maybe something you gave them, something you bought them, but they'll never forget the way you made them feel. And that's what we want to do here at the General Store. We want to create an atmosphere. We want to create, we want you to feel better when you leave than when you came in. You know, typically we have music playing when you come in. We have, uh, you know, just this atmosphere of Appalachia. We are focused on items here at our store that can't be bought anywhere else in, in our communities. Our, our focus is Kentucky Proud items. We've actually been designated a Kentucky Proud business by the state of Kentucky because we sell so many items that are made or raised or created right here in Kentucky. So we have a little bit of everything here at the general store. I think we have really captured the essence of a general store. We have everything from uh, gourmet fudge and cookies that are the size of your hand and cupcakes and bakery items. We carry Amish items. We work with a local Amish family that bakes fresh for us every week. Uh, so we have Amish items. We have books. We have crafts all the way to toilet paper. We have anything that you could, could ever need. We also, you can even get your fishing license here at the general store. So we literally have it all. And that's kind of what we wanted to do. We wanted to feature a lot of old school type items. We have every glass bottle drink you can imagine. Uh, we, you know, we work with different uh, local farmers. We carry fresh produce. There's really uh, not a lot of options for fresh 
you know, local produce here on this side of the mountain. And so that was something we wanted to do. And in addition to working with uh, local produce markets, we also, now that it's season here in the mountains, we're working with our local farmers. Uh, so if you look over at our produce area, there's a ginormous cabbage head about this big. And that came fresh from my daddy's garden right over here just across the, across the road. So we work with our local farmers, it helps them. We have farmers who come in and will bring us um, peas and green onions. And so we're able to pay them for those items and then turn and sell them for the community as well. So uh, that's just a little little taste of what we do here at the general store. We also, we have lots of uh, fresh sliced deli meat and actually we're the only place uh, for folks here in the Tri-Cities, Harlem, Benham, Lynch, all the way up to Partridge and Everfort to get fresh sliced deli meat. If you wanted to get fresh sliced meat anywhere else, you'd have to drive all the way across Pine Mountain to Whitesburg or all the way down to Harlan. Yeah, we're just, just we want to be a partner here in the mountains and we, we want folks to be able to experience what we've grown to, to know and love because we just we think we live in the most beautiful place in the world and uh, we, we love having folks come and sit on our porch. We have a church pew out there folks can sit on. We got some picnic tables. Uh, a lot of times we'll have live music. We'll have we got a few gentlemen who come and like to pick and they'll bring their guitars, their banjos, all kinds of different things and we'll have live music. We've brought in several different food trucks over. Um, We've brought uh, the popcorn guy from over in Wattsburg. We've had the donut folks from down in Harlan. We've had the Stokeholm people. You know, we, uh, we really just want to be a place that our community can love and appreciate and have something fun to do.